guys, welcome back to another video. If this is the first time you're watching me, then hi, my name is Leida, but you can call me Lay for easier, for shorter, for better. Um, anyway, so today's video, as you guys saw on the title, I'm going to be doing an updated uh, eyebrow tutorial. The last uh, eyebrow tutorial I did was a Spanish version one, and now I'm going to do my English one as well as kind of an updated one because it has changed a tad bit, not too much, but it has changed. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this video. To start off, I'm going to go ahead and say this before any of you guys question it. I am wearing a shirt. <laughs> it's really low, but I am wearing it. Anyway, so let's go ahead and start off by naming the products that I'm going to be using and I guess where you can purchase them or whatever. Um, so, for brushes, I use uh, this Anastasia Beverly Heel brush in the number 12. It's got a really nice, a thin little tip to it. It's just really thin and I like it. The spoolie is amazing. To fill in the eyebrow later on, I use this BH Cosmetic brush, but this one is a little bit thicker, and that's why I use it to fill in. I use it with a powder, um, and this one, honestly, you can get anywhere because most companies or anywhere you can find an angled brush for an eyebrow is usually thick enough. Um, the only thing that you might have trouble looking for, like a dupe for this, will be for the uh, thinner eyebrow brush because like I said it's really thin and most companies only make like a really thick brush I don't know why but that's what they do I'm also going to be using NYX Control Freak eyebrow gel and this is in a clear um, color so it doesn't have color and I really like it it's really good it's not greasy it's just you know really good um, the pomade that I use is from Anastasia and it's in the dark brown shade and for concealer, I use Bare Minerals Concealer, and this is what it looks like, and it's in the color Medium 2. To fill in the eyebrows once everything's done, it, I use this brow palette, and this is from Pro, Profusion. I got this at TJ Maxx, I think. I got it because it's good for clients when you do makeup because it has a bunch of shades. Um, on the bottom and they're not like really dark shades and it works now really good for me because I have gotten a shade lighter than I used to have and then for concealer I forgot about this one for concealer I use this brush it's just a flat brush um, and this is a real technique brush and it is a detailer brush so what I always do uh, starting off my eyebrows is I brush them out and I use this bully on the Anastasia a really heel brush and I just make sure everything is good to go I have so much glitter on my face <laughs> anyway so I just brush them out if I need to pluck my eyebrows then I pluck them as well um, but right now they're good because I plucked them a couple of minutes ago off camera I didn't realize I was gonna be doing this all right so next I start lining my eyebrow and I use the pomade from Anastasia like I said and what I do is I just kind of like go in it not too deeply I just kind of barely like brush through it and then I put the rest on my hand like this just to make sure that I don't get a lot of product on first hand and I just outline the shape of my brow I do not start at the very beginning. I start around like maybe a little bit inward, not at, like I said, not at the very beginning of the brow, but a little bit more in it. And then I just kind of brush it through. I just do the line first before I do anything else. I do not fill yet. I just kind of define. And then I slowly, gradually start blending from the very beginning. And then lightly, just kind of gently go over back to the front part. And this is where I grab my spoolie and I just kind of brush it out like that. And once again, lightly, gently go over the front part. And start distributing that little product that you put on gently. Outline first. And I do not start at the t at the very beginning. So 
so this is how it looks and then I slowly start bringing the product downward in like kind of the eyebrow part and I just kind of bring that in Now if you see that this part like where your blending is supposed to begin um, is too harsh you can always just kind of do this with your spoolie and that kind of helps with the blending. I really like that technique and this spoolie I don't know what it is about the spoolie but it really like blends it in for me. I don't know if it's just me or I don't know but I really like this spoolie and this this brush in general is definitely it's good you should invest in it honestly that's what I do with the brow so then after you have the angle of your brush I go over it with my powder and like I said I go in this uh, palette right here mix in this ashy color and I also mix in this dark brown right here it's more like a reddish brownish color um, but I use the BH cosmetic brush and I just mix them in at the same time and I go over the spots where I see it's kind of patchy but I didn't want to add more pomade just to make it make make sure it doesn't get too dark and I just kind of fill in what's left to be filled in and I lightly lightly go over the front part and this is just to make sure that it's all looking good and connected so now that my brow is done with the powder and as well as the pomade, I'm going to go into my Bare Minerals Concealer and I'm going to use the Real Technique brush and I'm just going to pat this on. Now you do have to be careful with this concealer because it is pretty like um, the consistency is a little bit slippery so it's not like one of those really heavy creamy ones it's a little bit harder to like manage To blend that out, I use a little brush. It's more like a small buffing brush. And I just kind of go over it lightly and blend the concealer out. For the top part, you can either, A, if it's bomb the way it is, you can leave it. Or you can go over it with your foundation. I usually use... My foundation which is the um, makeup revolution foundation in the color f12 and this is a stick foundation so it works really good because it's a cream foundation I just kind of lightly grab some on my brush and go over it like so and just glide it through Once that's done like that, I usually just kind of press my hand onto it and it takes off the excess, um, the foundation and concealer off of my brow. After this step, honestly, it's just looking at your eyebrow and seeing any little details that you want to fix. If the arc is not where you want it to be or something like that, then it's honestly just fixing the brow the way that you'd like it to end up. So this is my brow. And this is where I like it. I am going to go a little bit over the front part with my spoolie just to make sure that everything is blended and faded out. So it is good now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my Control Freak um, eyebrow gel. And I'm just going to go over it like so. So that is what my eyebrow looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eyebrow. Um, and I'm going to do the same steps 
for you guys, but I'm not going to be calling it everything out. This is the final look of my eyebrows. Um, they looked nice today. <laughs> I don't know what it was about it, but my eyebrows look popping. <laughs> and yeah, so this is the final look. So this is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this eyebrow tutorial. If you guys did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to share this video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.